All right, so let's continue. So we have created our header as well as the input. Now is the time for the speckle viewer. So let's create the speckle viewer as well. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing and I'm going to type in viewer. Oops. Viewer. So we have, we have already created a container for that. So I'm going to type in with Viewer, and then I can say st the subheader as well. So for each container, I am adding a subheader that defines that container, and this will be this will store my latest comment and save it. And just like that, the latest comment is right here. So I need to add my viewer to here. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to speckle.xyz go to my streams and select one of the streams and select one of the comments actually and right here there is a button called share this stream I'm going to click on that and there is an embed viewer right here so as you can see it actually creates an iframe out of the stream URL so I'm going to copy that and paste it right here, st.write. And you know what? I'm actually going to delete this and simply type in. Okay, great. Let's close these. So as you can see, the iframes source is actually created using like a formula called speckle.xyz embed question mark then stream equals to the stream ID right and commit equals to the commit ID and then we are defining the width and the height of our wireframe but the formula for the generation of our uh, stream URL or commit URL is actually quite simple speckle.xyz embed question mark stream equals stream ID and commit equals commit ID that's the formula so uh, we don't have to you know create our iframe from scratch because there is a component in streamnet that allows us to embed iframes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use that component to add our speckle viewer to the application so let's search for it i'm going to type in streamnet uh, iframe component and there is a components api and right here render an iframe url st.components version 1 iframe so i'm gonna say st.components.version1.iframe and then the parameters are a source width height and scrolling so our source is right here so i'm gonna say source equals to this URL. I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. Its width and height will be these values for now. I'm going to copy them as well. All right, so let's add a comment right below the iframe and save it. Let's come back to our application. So now, as you can see, it actually edits an iframe, but the width uh, of the iframe is not what we want. And so right now it's not actually dynamic. It only shows the comment from this specific stream and the comment. So I need to create a function that will show me the latest comment made to a specific stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say definition commit to viewer, right? So we are going to create a new function so first we need to create the formula and as you can see our formula expects two things first a stream and then a commit so i'm going to create a variable called stream and commit for this function right and the formula is quite simple so i'm going to say right here embed stream this portion this portion 
plus let's delete the first part then we are adding our stream ID as you may remember and since we have a stream variable I can simply type in stream that ID plus and then we are saying comet right let's paste it in here in a string and then at the end we are going to add our commit.id and this i'm going to create a new variable called embed underscore src so this is going to be my uh, source for the iframe right so in return i'm going to return these so i'm going to say return st.components.version1 iframe and its source will equal to the embed source right and its height I'm gonna set it as 400 for now and I'm actually gonna add a comment in front of this one and save this so now we have created a function that generates a viewer so I'm actually gonna create a new area right here that'll store all the definitions created in the script so let's say definitions so this one creates an iframe from comments so let's copy this and paste it right here so now we have created a function that generates an iframe from given stream object as well as a commit object okay so I'm gonna delete these guys from here and I'm gonna simply say I'm gonna call commit to viewer function and its stream is actually stored in here commit stream right and the commit is stored in the commits list uh, I'm gonna call the commits list and I'm gonna get the latest commit which is index 0 and save it and just like that so what we have done is we have input a stream which we get from this dynamic list which is stored in the stream variable and then I called the commits list and get the item at index 0 this way I made sure that I get the last comment all the time. So let's check whether if it works or not. So I'm going to select Revit to SketchUp stream. And just like that. Now it works. Let's make sure I'm going to click Rhino to Vim. Great, it works. So we have created viewer function as well. Let's continue with the report.